What is going on guys? This is Nathan Riggett from ZNN Outdoors. I'm here, here with another video today guys. I was just lounging around today and I realized that this came in. My Tackle Warehouse order. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, cover that address so none of you guys can get to my house. You don't need to know where I live. Alright, anyways. A lot of you guys seem to like um, these unboxing videos. So we have... We have some more unboxing videos. So, I placed this actually on Christmas. I got a Tech Warehouse gift card on Christmas, so I placed it that night. So, and it's kind of hard because of all the um, holidays that have been around. So, we're finally getting it now. So, of course, you get your uh, your paper, your sticker. All right, so this is jam packed. Let's get right into it. So, the first thing I s that we have here is a Greenfish Tackle. Uh, skipping jig. Now, I like greenfish tackle jigs because they're hand tied and um, they they just work. They come with great hooks. Um, they're really, really good um, baits for ponds, which I fish a lot of. Um, a lot of people ask me what's the like what's that ultimate um, weight? What's the best weight? And I tell them that uh, three eighths is probably the best weight you can get. So. Here is the greenfish tackle and green pumpkin. So get that out of the way. Good start to this unboxing. Uh, second thing we got here is a pack of Eagle Claw um, EWG hooks for out with uh, keepers. I only I only bought these. I don't normally buy Eagle Claw, but I got these because they were on sale for a dollar ninety nine, and you can't beat that. So just kind of take one of these out for you guys. Here you go. And I like and I like to get uh, hooks with those bait keepers on there, just because it keeps the uh, bait on there better. Um, because I I like to fish a lot of sankos. I'll use this for an example. And if you guys fish sankos, you guys know that they tend to slide on your hook a lot when a fish bites it. So I like I like when there's a hook that won't slide because of fish because of fish uh, because of fish bit your bait. I think it's pretty frustrating because a lot of times when a fish when a bass bites your bait at first it's like a little um it's it's like wondering what the heck it is so it's a little like um kind of like a seeing what it is and if it slides off the hook they're gonna lose interest and not want it so all right that's that moving on we have a pack of gambler burner crawls in killer g color now i found that these burner crawls are the best ever flipping and pitching bait here from the Midwest, they got a strong garlic scent, so you can see this killer G color right here. Really good uh, trailer for jigs in the um, in the summer and spring around me, so I like those. I got another pack in green pumpkin, as you can see there. Um, next, I got a lot of swim baits in this order because I needed some new swim baits. So the first pack of swim baits I got here. Is the Eco Pro Tungsten Swinging Shad, uh, 3.8 inch in sight fish. Now I like the Eco Pro Tungsten over the the Kitex just because they're a heck of a lot cheaper, and they actually work, in my opinion, a lot better. Um, they don't have as strong of a scent, but they they have so much movement in the water. So that's the sight uh, the sight fish. I use this primarily as a swim jig in chatterbait trailer. So that's that. Uh, the next thing I got here, which is I, which I've been waiting for for a long time for these to come out, it's a live target thread fin shed in 4.8 inches. Now, guys, I am hyped about this bait right now. I really don't get excited about a lot of baits a lot of times, but this is one of the few baits that I am just pumped about getting so I'm just getting into the swim bait game so I know I'm kind of a noob when it comes to that but you know you gotta start somewhere I have a uh, right now the only the only other swim bait I have is a um, river to sea s waiver but this is my second one so but that look at that thing guys that thing is amazing. The detail on this bait is incredible. The hook is amazing. And, I mean, dude, this is going to work, guys. This is going to be a fish killer this this year. 
I'm hyped about this bait, guys. Very excited. So that's that. Get that out of the way. Alright, moving on. We have another Greenfish Tackle Bait in 3 8 ounce. It is in BB Green. So this is kind of their uh, Okeechobee Craw Color. Um, uh, I, I, um... I like to say that one of my favorite um, pond fishing colors besides green pumpkin is like an Okeechobee craw color. I, I don't know why, but for some reason that Okeechobee craw color just, it, it sends pond fish on a craze. They eat like crazy when they see it. I mean, and it works really well. So here's another greenfish tackle jig. They're absolutely amazing. I can't get enough of these jigs, guys. I really can't. They're really great. Alright, so our next bait, or our next thing is uh, another pack of Eagle Claw hooks. I got two packs because they were on sale. Why not get two packs? Um, next, we have a Santone Lures Jig M Series. This is in Bama Bug. This is 3 8 ounce. So, again, I heard about these Santone Lures. Uh, they're a sponsor of Zach's, who's on the channel. So, he, he, uh, he told me about these jigs. So, thought I would try them out um so yeah this is actually not a bad color right here this will this will be really good this year uh this is in Bama Bug so you got see it's got a green pumpkin kinda of that purple in it I think that's gonna be a great color this year alright I have a couple more things left so let's get right into it um next is another Eco Pro Tungsten Swinging Shad 3.8 in black shad so as you can see kind of another 3.8 inch swim jig chatterbait trailer really really like these and then finally we class is another pack of uh, Eagle Pro um, tungsten swinging shads in AU shad and 4.8 inch so I'll take one of these out so a lot of times I like to stick with 3.8 inch swim baits, but I got the 4.8 inch in um, AU Shad because because of this brown color right here. When I fish ponds, one of my biggest things I like to fish in the summer is a swim bait on a swim bait hook, a weighted swim bait hook, and kind of reeling it in through the weeds. And I found after experimenting this summer that a swim bait with that with this brown or some white on it. It's an absolute killer for the fish. It looks like a bluegill, and if you guys know anything about bass, they they feed extremely, extremely hard on bluegills in the summer. So that is that. Um, so that was the tackle warehouse order, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and uh, we really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving us. And I hope you guys enjoyed the first video that Zach posted on the channel. See you guys.